Find the partial fraction decomposition of 2x squared plus 5x plus 7 all over x plus 3 times x squared plus 1. Well, I have a linear factor, and so that would come with a partial fraction that looks like this. And I have an irreducible quadratic factor, which will come with a partial fraction that looks like this. From here, I solve it the same way as all the rest. I multiply both sides by the denominator and solve a system of equations. Multiplying both sides by the denominator will leave me with a 2x squared plus 5x plus 7 equals the x plus 3 will cancel and leave me with an x squared plus 1 times a plus. I have that bx plus c from the numerator the x squared plus 1's will cancel times an x plus 3. Distributing on this side, I have ax squared plus a plus bx squared plus cx plus 3bx plus 3c. And now, I can imagine combining the like terms. So 2x squared has to be equal to ax squared plus bx squared. So a plus b has to equal 2. All right, looking at the variables that have just x in them. Excuse me, the terms that have just x in them. cx plus 3bx would have to equal 5, so c plus 3b must be 5. And then finally the constants a plus 3c, well those have to add up to 7. And so now I have a system of three equations and three variables that I need to solve. I'm going to rewrite that, that system on this next board. a plus b was equal to 2, 3b plus c is equal to 5, and a plus 3c is equal to 7. The second equation has the variables b and c in it. I'm going to write it down because I'm going to use those variables to continue because I think I can add the first and the third together in a nice way to get rid of the variable a. In fact, to do that, I think what I can do is just take the opposite of this top equation and then add it to the second equation. So what I would end up with, well the a's will cancel, if minus b plus 0 would be minus b, 0 and 3c add together to give me 3c. Minus 2 plus 7 is 5. And so now I have two equations and two variables. And if I multiply this bottom equation by 3, I can continue to use the addition method. Adding these equations, I get 10c is equal to 20. And I find out that c is equal to 2. Well, I know that a plus 3c is equal to 7, so that tells me that a plus 6 is equal to 7, so a is equal to 1. And finally, I know that a plus b had to be equal to 2. Well, if a is 1, then so is b. So I found a, b, and c. Going back to my original setup, I can write down my partial fraction decomposition. A is 1. B is also 1, so I have a 1 times x, and then plus c, c is 2. And there is my partial fraction decomposition.